Let's just see how much recording time. Okay, two minutes. I don't know if that's enough time, but I'm going to try. The Sabre Panoramic by Scott. Now, there isn't a lot to say about this. We all assumed that it was an industrial, especially given the head harness type. However, there's an urban legend. I say urban legend because I can't actually seem to find the evidence of this, although I've also not particularly looked. This was briefly used by the British Royal Navy. Um, whether or not that's true is entirely different. I've got no idea. This is also left-handed, rather interestingly. Um, as I say, made by Scott, I believe. However, there are, uh, if I remember correctly, no Scott markings actually on it. But, you know, it's, it's the telltale Scott design. It's also one size fits all, which is really terrible for me. So it, it, it does not fit remotely at all. It's a voice diaphragm which says Sabre on it. Five point head harness with quick release, very thick industrial style straps, which actually you can pop off and replace onto most other masks with a style like that. Most notably, I did it with uh, the Coretta series, actually. Even the neck strap is compatible with the Coretta. Flip that over. That's your old nasal cup. And there you go. There's your inside. This thing was actually brand new when I got it. The problem is I don't know anyone who fits it, because it's a very thin, long fit. There's a date stamp in there, but I have no idea which part of it is the date. And there's something on the head harness here. But all in all, still really cool. Sabre safety. I believe it's made by Scon. God, don't tell me I'm wrong. That never happens on these videos. <laughs> Next strap. It's just a really basic design. It's just a cheap panoramic that's easy to make, easy to produce. Not really a lot to say about it, really. I just thought it was pretty neat and worth